Hi everyone and thank you for watching this short 10 minute video on a quick overview of Hot Maths. For those of you who don't know, Hot Maths is an online interactive mathematics resource which caters for the Australian curriculum for years foundation to 10. In this video we will be focusing on the primary year levels for New South Wales which comes in two components. Fundamentals which caters for years foundation to 2 and then Normal Hot Maths which is for years 3 to 6. We will begin with normal hot maths first by presenting the, what student resources are available. Firstly, we should mention that every teacher and student account has access to all courses available throughout hot maths. So students who are struggling are able to go back to previous years and revise while accelerated students are free to roam ahead. Let's look at a lesson and see what each lesson can offer our students. We will just need to click on the course drop down box, select a topic and then select a unit section. Each time we open up one of these unit sections our page will be split up into two main panels. We will have our lesson notes on the left hand side which includes di dictionary definitions, widgets and hot sheets. On the right hand side of the screen are all the resources for this lesson. Just for ease of access, the embedded resources in the lesson notes are under the resource tab just over here. Let's quickly look at a widget. For anyone that doesn't know, a widget is a feature that illustrates a mathematical concept graphically or by interaction. This particular widget allows the student to visualize mixed fractions versus improper fractions. The student can toggle, toggle how many pie, pieces of pie and see how they add up. There are also hot sheets, which are various types of worksheets, which include question and answer, cutouts and games. The next tab are for the walkthroughs, which present the student with a problem and will walk them step by step on how to solve the problem. The next tab is the Scorcher feature, which aims to develop students' fluency skills. They are thrown 10 questions each round and each round is timed. The best submissions in terms of time and results are posted on the leaderboard. The last tab is for the four sets of questions. Each level increases in difficulty and there are around 8 to 10 questions per level. The student can answer the questions online and the results will be fed back to their corresponding teacher. Some other student resources include the games which can be accessed from the dashboard. Let's go back to the dashboard and explore some of the teacher features for year 3 to 6. The first main feature is a task manager which allows teachers to direct their students to a particular unit section and complete the relevant student resources. For example, let's click on New Task. There are four things we need to complete. The first one is to select where we would like to direct the students to. Now remember that you can assign a task from any year level or course. We then need to select which components of the lesson we would like our students to do by checking the boxes. Then we need to assign it to a particular class. If we don't want all the students in that class to do it, we can deselect all students. We can add in the optional message, then click OK when we are ready to send the task to our students. When those students log in, they will receive a notification that says they have a task waiting. It will also provide them a link and a checklist on what to do. To get an overview of who accessed the component of the task, we can click on the progress link. All we need to do is locate the task that we are after and click on its corresponding progress link. To get a more comprehensive view on how our students are going, we could then switch to reporting feature which is located on the dashboard. Now we can generate a report either by the class or by the individual. To look at a class report, we simply need to click on the class name, 
but if we would like an individual report we need to open up the class by clicking on the plus sign and then clicking on the individual. We then need to select the report type, where we would like our report from and then the file type. Here is an, a sample of what a report will look like. Now let's look at the test generator. We need to click on the test icon which is located on the dashboard. This houses all the tests that we have created and the option to create a test is located at the bottom. This will then give us the option to use the wizard which will generate a test based on our preferences or manual selection where you hand pick your questions for the test. Let's use a combination of both, starting with wizard. The first thing we need to do is name our test and add a description. We then need to select how many questions we would like from each difficulty. Then we need to select where we would like the questions from. Just keep in mind that you can select any lesson, course and year. As soon as we click on generate, this will give us a draft version of the test on the right hand side of the screen. From here we can reorder the questions by dragging and dropping. We can delete questions by clicking the red delete buttons or we can add questions in by using the manual selection method. Simply select where you would like your questions from and the difficulty that you would be after and then click search. This will bring up a bunch of questions that fit our search criteria. We can then add in questions by clicking on the orange arrows. Once we are happy with our test we can click on save. Let's go back to our test bank and see what we can do with the test we have just created. Let's select our test and look at the options at the bottom. We can assign the test to our students online. We can make a copy of that test so that the copy version has a different order. That will mean you have two different versions of the same test. We can edit our test at any point. We can share our test with our teachers. We can print it out or save it to our computer. And we can save the answers to our computer. If we would like to view the results of our tests, we just need to click on the assigned test reports. We can then view our test results either by the student or by the question. If we click on student results, we see each student's question responses clicking on any of the tiles. The question results give us an indication of which questions were too easy and which were too hard for our class. Let's go back to the dashboard and quickly touch over the F2 resources fundamentals. The student resources are presented on the opening screen while the teacher features are located at the top right. Let's click into a module. The resources for the module are located just over here while the module activities are just over here. Let's look quickly at the resources. They include widgets, hot sheets and lesson notes. If we go back and click on one of these activities, the student can complete the activity in four different difficulties.
Now let's look at two teacher features. The first one is setting an activity. We just need to select the class or individual students, the activity list and the set task. If we would like to generate a report, all we need to do is select where we would like our report from, the topics and the lessons. Well that sums up today's introduction for Hot Maths. Thank you all for watching.